All right, uh, Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. You're watching our uh, newest video right now, and it's actually about the um, Knights of the Round Table. We call KRT here at uh, Knight Capital Management. It's a uh, it's an exclusive club, uh, and the easiest way that I can explain it to you is that it gives unprecedented access to me and to my strategies as well, and uh, all future strategies coming. Uh, you are most likely already on our early bird list and uh, so this entitles you uh, at this point in time if you're on the early bird list you got first crack and getting one of the 10 spots that we're getting ready to, to bring out here uh, anyway make a long story short most likely you already saw this page uh, in front of you here and you got started and you're ready to go so the next step here is going to actually be here at the Knights of the Round Table and this will obviously look a little bit different on this page so it'll have uh, not instead of uh, TCB here there'll be information all about and you're actually watching the video it's right here right now right on this particular video series and uh, I'll have myself recorded with a little message over here as well so with that being said let's move on into what I want to talk about today alright we're going to actually do a replay of the trading day or actually just our, our trade uh, period of time that we're looking at uh, this particular day, our 90-minute window was 9.30 to 11. Uh, that's 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time to 11 o'clock uh, a.m. Eastern Time on uh, been Friday, January 28th, 2011. It was uh, a nice trading day, and I also want to go over a few other details with you. But before we go over the trading day itself, I'd like to go over January results with you uh, just a little bit here and I want to kind of start and also want to show you a few things here that uh, kind of make sense to me and the first thing that I want to show you is uh, the Google documents here uh, that I want to go ahead and show you a little bit about that alright so here we are in front of I've taken some selected trades out uh, through the uh, year here and I've obviously made it into everyone so you can share Now I've taken off some important information off of uh, my doc so I don't want to give away some of the information here like my account number but with that being said what we started our uh, what I started my uh, account here is at 5066 uh, for the this year 2011 and I'm looking to see how far I can get uh, in my account but more importantly I want to see how I can help you a uh, trade as well but this I guess you can call it uh, I guess in, uh, in 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 another way they call it proof of life right so I want to show you that we had some really nice, oh, well, we had a decent trading month, and the fact that I was uh, 5 for 5 on my trading uh, month here, and I, not that I took every trade, I have a conservative way to take the trades, and since I am at the $5,000 account level, I have to be a little bit more conservative on my entry as opposed to maybe a more aggressive trader that would be trading like 3 to 5 to 10 or so forth. So this is a statement date 111 here and notice that we made $194 and we went uh, our account from 5066 to uh, ending balance of 5260 so we made 20 ticks that's uh, 200 uh, 20 ticks 10 times uh, each one of those two, uh, 20 ticks is $200 our commission cost is six bucks and uh, you can do better or w a little bit worse than that but you know you want to try to get as close as six dollars or better I think in my humble opinion for this market to make it worthwhile so uh, anyway so it nets 194 and that gets you the 5260 the next uh, day here we want to look at here is uh, 17th and I don't know if there's an okay 5504 we had another trade in here that in uh, to, to get it got us up to 5504 uh, let's see here what else we got the 26th of, uh, of January here and notice that we had another $194 trade and we were able to get up to 5752 uh, we started the week uh, at uh, or that week at 5558 had another trade 5752 another 20 tick win $200 194 here uh, so another win here on the account here's the 27th 5,752 added 194 more to 5,946. Uh, and then you can see the fill date and what time and time. This actually is GMT time. It works out to be 4 o'clock would be Eastern time. It would be 1107, by the way. So you can actually look, you know, pause it and look at my fills and go against your charts and whatever you want to do 
so make sure that you know and this is actually a real account I just X'd out my account number uh, and a few other details I didn't really want to share to the wide world out there but outside of that you can go back here and this is all real it happened in some, into my own account uh, and then we finished the month off here and it says the 28th but I don't trade the Mondays normally so this is actually will be my ending account balance since Monday uh, it falls to January 31st my ending statement account balance in the month of January where I'll start actually February I guess in, in another way of putting it this is I'll start this at 5,946 now okay that's that's the the account balance and I want to show you our trading log here quickly uh, and then I want to get into the trade itself now here was the trades that I took in the month of January notice this is a conservative I took the conservative entries here in the month of January here for my $5,000 account and I'm looking to and I was lucky uh, I had five for five you know that that usually this is about 60 percent win rate so uh, obviously I've got some losses coming down here at some point during my trading but more than likely you know we're taking high probability trading wins and uh, pulling this out now this doesn't really help you with the statistics because it's all at 100 percent right so uh, gross profit 880 so you know after commission costs and so forth reward and so forth this doesn't really help you until we actually see the other side of this right and we have our graph here starting we see our account balance and so forth and 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 this really doesn't make sense other than look over here right this is how much profit we made per contract down here are these little black lines here and this line here is the net profit almost at a thousand after one month here so this is showing per trade over here to this black line on this side and this here on this side is showing the account balance going up here and if it would peak down or whatever so that in a nutshell is the uh, trading log that we keep up with here and this is my actual live trading log that I keep up with that coincides with I actually you know my statements and I put your times in it has the ability to put in your second and third exit so that uh, you can actually use this and utilize it a little bit further along as uh, as I demonstrate how you can exit other ways and other places and so forth alright the last thing I believe I want to cover here uh, quickly is that you're also going to receive here this is all stuff you're going to get as a lifetime member by the way guys this is your long-term plan and the most important component here is your Delta starting date and so forth don't want to go over much details here but you can see I have a plan to get myself to a million and trading roughly what 20 contracts here or you know trading 10 you're sitting at 252,000 now you can play with this Delta here and, and see how I've, I've changed it around here to show a little bit more of a conservative approach to reach this you can see our our biggest dip could be around the uh, second contract here at 31 percent and then obviously as we move forward it's going to eventually get down to two to one percent and so forth that right here at nine contracts you at this particular delta series you'd be at five percent uh, risk here by that time and that's starting January 11th uh, of 2011 and you're looking at nine contracts roughly a year and uh, what nine months or so a year and eight months there to get to a little bit more now you can play with this Delta depending upon your own risk factor and make this uh, a lot more um, anyway so uh, this all comes into your uh, personal risk assessment on your own account now you're gonna find out in time what that level is some people are gonna wanna stick to this kind of a, a level here and other people wanna grow their account a lot faster so that comes to each individual all right so let's go over the trade that we had here and uh, let me get set here okay so I am recording this on the YouTube uh, server so I'm gonna have to keep this to 15 minutes I know I'm at a little over nine minutes right now so let's get this roll in here and um, move forward here and uh, take a look and this is you know, obviously you see me use this before so this is a replay all right now I want to put my the let's see here this is 931 let me just double check to see how fast we're moving our clock we're going minute to minute here so uh, our entry actually came in at 939 and I want to go over that entry point all right now here at 934 we see this also coincides with roughly the high right in this area right here we noticed that the 8646 we're looking to get long here at 86.48, two ticks above this high right here, I'm looking to get long. 
And uh, for this purpose, we're going to th take a series of, of uh, well, anyway, we'll just take one contract through here. Uh, and then if you think of it, we'll think of about a series of three, five, and then ten as far as profit goes. And uh, let's go ahead and move forward here. Let me stop. Whoops. Let me stop this. Now, our uh, one R target here. Now look over here. We're at we're 2.02 on our proprietary indicator here. That translates out to one R of 20. So 202 translate. You know, move the decimal over one or take this times it by 100. And anyway, so uh, and take it by 10 percent, and we come up with 20. So our one R target on this particular trade is is 20 ticks from 48 and that gets you to 68. Now your 2R target would be 20 ticks from 68 or, or 40 ticks from your initial entry point here. So you're looking at 48, 68, 2 ticks. So you're looking at uh, 88 for that second contract uh, to get out here. So uh, you're, well, anyway, first two series, second two series, or first series, second series, and then you have your rabbit runner. And we'll go over a little bit more about details about uh, how I exited, uh, how you exit some of these trades and whatnot. So uh, let's go ahead and move forward because I want to get through this trade before I run out of time here. There's your 2R entry right there. Or let me stop here. Let me stop. <laughs> Excuse me. Stop. There we go. Uh, here's our 2R exit right here at 86.88. Notice that that comes in at 9.43. Now. We come into the trade at 9.39 and was that four minutes later, you've already hit 1R, 2R, out. And Van Tharp, we've talked about Van Tharp in his two books, uh, Trade Way to Financial Freedom and also Super Trader. Some really good information in there that helped develop the strategy. Just one of the traders that I've used to help me in my particular trading career. There's lots of traders that have influenced me. Van Tharp's, uh, I can't take credit for the R concept. That, con that comes from Van Tharp, uh, R meaning risk. And also the uh, opposite of that would be reward, right? And how you define that. How do you define risk? How do you define reward? So what we're going over here is, is a 90 day trading strategy that eventually you're gonna be at this level. If you keep up with it, you're gonna be able to trade more than one contract, you're going, to, you're going to be able to trade two, then three, then four, five. Maybe you have enough money, you can go ten at it. Maybe you got a million dollars ready to go at it. You don't even need me. Um, but anyway, so here is our first indicator. It comes underneath the lower average, uh, I mean, excuse me, our lower highway here. And we're looking up here. We see that we've had hit our upper band here, uh, the upper, UA, uh, upper UADR here. But we also notice that we have our high here coming into play as well. So we could exit all of this trade right through here, or we could have taken on. Now on this particular day, we looked at the difference between here to here, and we actually had a, a physical exit we were looking for. Uh, our final exit on this particular day was 87.36, and it did not run all the way up there. So, but I'll show you our exit point here before we run out of time here. So here comes an, a, a physical exit right through here, and we're looking at 8711. Uh, so a little bit underneath that, we're looking at uh, 8711 less. Let's go with um, right there at 8706. This would be our first exit point that would come across the board here. First entry that's actually closed underneath the lower band on this run up here. And so let's see what happens here. There is, it attempts to go up here. By the way, it goes up to um, 87.32 within four ticks of the target that I put on the board in our trading room this day. and But it didn't end up taking us out at 87.06. So let's go over a little bit of details here in the last uh, 50 seconds I got. One contract trading here today would have been $200. Three contracts would have been two, two, that's 400. Another four have been 800. Five contracts today would have been $1,780. And then 10 contracts, uh, $3,560 on this particular trade. This is just one trade in our, what you're going to learn on the TCB. And obviously, you're going to learn a lot more here. But this is the first strategy that we're going to work with. Your 90 days are going to include all of that, plus so much more. This is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. We'll look forward to seeing you on the Knights of the Roundtable. Look forward to taking advantage of that particular 
Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you in soon. Bye now.